watching News 8. I'm pleased to be joined by Mark Dwyer from Foodlink on this Hunger Action Day, part of Hunger Action Month. Mark, great to see you. Thanks for a few minutes. Thanks for having me. What's on tap today? So today is Hunger Action Day. It's part of our annual Hunger Action Month awareness campaign. Uh, this is a Feeding America driven initiative and, and Feeding America is the nationwide network of food banks, which we're a part of. Uh, and this is just a time of year to really drive home the point and raise awareness that hunger exists in, in all of our communities and uh, ways people can get involved, whether that be donating, volunteering, advocating. Uh, it's just a, a month long awareness campaign. In years past, as, as we've highlighted uh, and covered, you've had a lot of activities set up to help promote Hunger Action Month. How has the pandemic impacted your approach this September? Sure, well, we all know the, the, the pandemic has had a pretty devastating effect on households uh, throughout our region and all over the, uh, the nation and the world, and, and, and definitely affecting uh, families' abilities to put food on the table. And, and we, we heard from an initial study done by Feeding America early on in this pandemic, they were projecting the rise in food insecurity and they said in our region alone, it's going to be a 45% spike. And, and that translates to about 60,000 additional people uh, on top of the 135,000 people that were already struggling uh, with food insecurity, but another 60,000 people that are now impacted by food insecurity. Mark, as you're well aware, uh, lots of youngsters heading back to school for in-person instruction. Others will learn remotely this year. Let's talk about uh, Foodlink's role in terms of helping get food to these youngsters and their families as well. Sure, yeah, well, we know that there's a lot of children out there that really rely on school uh, for, for their meals, for breakfasts and lunches, and then the after-school programs they go to to get meals as well. And so this disruption in our normal school schedule certainly uh, causes a great deal of, of pain and frustration for families trying to feed their kids this time of year. So Foodlink's working with the city of Rochester, the, the school district, and others uh, to make sure meals are available to students and families uh, traditionally, kids would gather in places to eat their meals, um, but since March, uh, we've been operating with a quick-and-go format, so parents can go to sites, pick up meals, and make sure their kids have uh, nutritious and, and delicious meals to serve to their kids. Uh, and these sites are listed on our website. It's a, it's a lot of schools and rec centers around Rochester. Foodlinkny.org is the site. Uh, just a few seconds left. If folks want to support Foodlink's mission, how do they uh, donate, Mark? Well, yeah, you said it right there with our website is a great resource um, for people not only looking for food, but people looking to support us, uh, whether that be a donation, uh, volunteering. We're still accepting volunteers in small numbers, both at our facility at Foodlink and at now an off-site facility in Henrietta, where we're packing these food boxes that you've probably been seeing being handed out and, and through drive through distributions all over the region. And so volunteer support is critical uh, and being an advocate and raising awareness on, on Hunger Action Day. Such important uh, work. Uh, our community is grateful, and we're grateful for your time, Mark. Thank you.